Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will tell you the complete list of what skunks eat. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for updates. Skunks are animals well known for their intolerable skunk spray, which they use as self-defense. This article will give a detailed understanding of what skunks eat and why. The complete skunk diet, including seasonal specific foods. Skunks are omnivores and are very adaptable in their diet. However, their favorite food consists of small prey and insects, especially in summer and spring. Plants are usually eaten when food is scarce. In winter, when food is extremely sparse skunks may invade garbage and trash for food. Especially during the summer months, when food is in abundance, skunks will use this time to eat lots of food to sustain both themselves and their young better through the winter months. So now let's take a look at what skunks eat. Before we get into the detail, we should mention that skunks, as omnivores are not overly picky animals. To some extent, they do have scavenger tendencies, so, this means that their diet is very adaptable depending on seasons and availability, and is key to their survival. And most importantly, skunks don't have a proper mechanism to combat or attack animals and to prey on them. Yes, they do have an effective spray for self-defense, but when it comes to their physical capacity or ability to kill animals, little is fully understood about this. So, this diminished capacity for skunks to attack many animals makes it more obvious that their diet needs to be relatively simple, and will never include prey that is too large for them to attack. This also means that if they cannot find prey that they can kill and feed on, they will have to rely on foraging for food that they can eat to sustain themselves and their young, including plants and other edible foods. Although humans consider skunks as a nuisance because of their unpleasant odor, they are beneficial in many ways. This is because skunks prey on small creatures that are harmful to gardening and a healthy lifestyle as a whole. It's estimated that on average around 70% of a skunk's diet is made up of insects. As such even though skunks may seem and sound like a nuisance, they do still help in getting rid of destructive insects around the home and yard. Many yard pests and other yard creatures and insects make up the bulk of a skunk's diet. Like snakes, cockroaches, grasshoppers, crickets, beetles, beetle larvae, spiders, even the black widow spider, fish, scorpions, rabbits, mice, voles, moles, shrews, ground nesting birds, small reptiles, small amphibians, frogs, toads, newts, water snakes, bees and other small animals. While these may sound common prey for pretty much most of the animals, what's interesting about a skunk's diet is that skunks are one of the major predators of the honeybee. Of course, protecting themselves from bee stings is possible with the thick tuft of fur on their bodies. Skunks do not fully hibernate in winter, at times during winter when a skunk wakes from its torpor, usually, when temperatures are 30 degrees Fahrenheit or above. They may choose to leave the comfort of their den at night to forage for food. Where possible, skunks will forage for and eat insects, earthworms, grub snakes, berries, edible leaves, and nuts. Plants are also consumed by skunks when they cannot find their favorite food easily, either by a simple shortage for that year or because colder weather is beginning to set in. Mostly during late fall and winter, skunks often do have to eat plants as an alternative, when available, skunks will opt to eat corn, blackberries, blueberries, and other wild berries. During winter, skunks may also search for and eat seeds, nuts, plant parts on the ground, and plant roots. Although this may sound unpleasant to us, skunks are omnivores and so they are very versatile and adaptable when it comes to food. So, they do feed on human garbage and trash. Especially as unattended garbage is also very welcoming to insects, rodents that skunks can also eat. Plus, leftovers and even rotting food from the garbage can could potentially make up a huge meal for skunks that are foraging for food. Skunks deviously raid garbage and trash looking for their favorite food, which can quickly create a complete mess in backyards and entrances. When food isn't available in trash or garbage, this can bring more problems. This is because when skunks don't find what they want in the garbage they can often target other food courses. But it's important to remember that skunks, like rats, are animals of routine. This means that when skunks locate a steady source of food from garbage and trash cans, they may forge a habit of visiting your home more often in search of the same food source, especially during winter, when food is scarce. Unfortunately, aside from the spray, this is largely why humans do not like skunks. Skunks as omnivores generally prefer animals over plants. 
but depending on the seasons and availability of food, these can differ. Starting with summer and spring, these are the times that skunks feed on fresh food sources as they're available in plentiful supply. During spring and summertime, skunks will feed on grasshoppers, bees, beetles, beetle larvae, and crickets as well as others from our first list above. During this time, skunks naturally eat fewer plants and more prey. As winter approaches, when the availability of food reduces, skunks will eat food that is not as fresh and those that even fall to the ground and are easily accessible. This includes fruits and crops that are left rotten or not harvested. It's also during winter that skunks will dig in through garbage and trash more often. Over this cold season and as a last resort, skunks may occasionally kill poultry to eat their eggs. In fact, during this season skunks will usually eat anything edible they come across if it provides sufficient nourishment. Skunks adopt this eating pattern in winter because since they don't fully hibernate, they need to find food to help keep them active and warm and provide enough layers of fat. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.